Am, am, am I actually doing this right now? I, I think I'm actually doing this right now. Well, good morning, my beauties. How's it going? It's your old pal Aiden, and welcome to the Grand Destino Tower at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. Now, this is a very special staycation, if you will, because I am being joined by my family, who I have not seen in over two months. So this is going to be quite exciting. They should be here shortly. I've obviously just arrived, as you can tell. Got my very loud suitcase and my very full drawstring bag. Why I brought the drawstring, I have no clue, because this thing is quite heavy. But I have never stayed at this resort before. I've heard many, many different reviews about it. Most of them good, which is great. So let's go on in and see, see what it's all about. Right away, I'm already getting such good vibes from this place. It's quite exciting, actually. I haven't stayed at a Disney resort in, yeah, like almost a full year now, which is crazy. Oh my gosh. Getting exciting, it's getting exciting. Oh, and yeah, I should mention, uh, Masks are still in place in all indoor locations. All right, here we go. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I see you, Disney. I see you. All right, what we got going on? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying not to, like, like, go hysterical because I'm already liking this place. Already liking this place. All right, what is this? Okay. Shop. Oh look, we got a nice little welcome screen here. They must have known I was arriving today. So it looks like we've got a nice little, I don't know what you would call this, like a meeting area? I mean, you have, I mean, you have desks, tables, whatever. You have USBs and some outlets. Family should be here shortly, so I gotta find a hiding spot so I can surprise them. I was gonna say, just imagine if Disney's Magical Express was out there, I'd be screwed. Ooh, fitness center, huh? So yeah, these guys definitely knew I was coming. You know what? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Why not? Please use Magic Vendor Cord to enter. What? What? Five minutes later. Okay. Well, I decided to use my phone as the room key and now we're in. Okay. Okay, Disney. I see you. You got some decent stuff in here. I'm actually, I'm kind of impressed. Got a lot of mirrors. Bro, they got a leg, they got a full on leg press. Got a rowing machine, medicine balls, kettlebells. You got everything. See, you get a decent view of yourself too. I don't know what this music is, but I can vibe with it. I can vibe with it. Well, let's see. Okay. Okay, so they have 50s. I was going to say, I incline bench 50s, so that could work. I will admit, I brought a decent amount of clothes in case I wanted to come in here, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I do need to relax. Okay, forgive the terrible lighting. They're almost here. I do not know where they're at. I really don't want to peek around the corner. Let's see. Uh, they probably wouldn't even see me. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Well, so was that right there? Did they see me? I don't know if they saw me. Okay. I, I might have just blown my cover. Son of a bitch. I just blew it. Oh well. We'll just we'll just walk up to them ever so casually. Oh hey. Sub nerds. Hi baby. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Nice up here. <laughs> oh boy. Is it not working? Okay. To say I wasn't able to use my magic band to unlock the gym door. Oh. Whoa. Wow. This 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 is. This is really nice. It's a really nice room. <laughs> and we have a decent view too. Oh look, you can see Summit Plummet. I wondered what that was. What is this sticking up over here? What? You know what that is? Tower of That's Tower of Terror. Oh cool, I didn't think we were that close. Cause it says yeah. we're in Animal Kingdom Resort area. Yeah. So yeah, this is what I mean by I shouldn't have brought this bag. Oh, yeah, we can check out the bathroom while we're in here. Oh wow, oh wow. I didn't even notice the shower. 
Is that, like yeah. a, is that like a fancy, whoa, okay. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, this, this thing definitely towers over my six foot structure. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. So yeah, this is just a decent look at all the junk that I brought. And I'm sure most of it I probably didn't even need. 20 minutes later. Forgive me for the uh, brief delay in, in new clips of the room, but yeah, I think we're gonna go down and get some breakfast. I don't know, did you guys have breakfast? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, I had oatmeal, but that was a while ago. So, I could eat, I could eat. Oh, nice bar. Get my drink on. Listen, I had a margarita yesterday at, or I don't know if it was a margarita or something at Olive Garden. It was fantastic. Yeah, I am really, really digging this resort. Like, let's just take a look out this window for a second. Nice little front lawn. I'm sure they play movies and I'm sure some people sleep there too. Ooh, we got a fancy schmancy charter bus. How are you, sir? I am. Well, uh, we're here. See, so yeah, I think we have to stop at the uh, ticket counter to get my tickets because obviously I don't work here anymore, so I can't get in for free. I don't know why I'm so excited about Animal Kingdom today. Oh wait, now I know why. It's because it's my first time going in as a true guest in like two months. Oh boy, here we go. Oh baby! Oh man, we're in. We're in! Ugh. My excitement is honestly going through the roof. It feels so different not being a cast member. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and it looks so quiet too. Not that many people heading towards Pandora, but I feel like now that I said that, everyone's gonna start heading that way. But see, it's like so cool looking at all these like bars and lounges and whatnot, knowing that, yeah, I can go in there now. It's so quiet. Oh, oh, that is a good shot of that. Oh my gosh. I should also mention while we're out here is that Disney is changing mask requirements yet again. So basically, if the attraction line starts outside and makes its way inside, you can keep your mask off until you get inside. I feel like I overcomplicated that. Basically, you don't need your mask on outside anymore. But you also gotta think, this park has been open for like, what? An hour? An hour or two now? And Flight of Passage looks like it's gonna be a walk-on. You know, to my surprise, the camera actually picks up these lights quite well. So yeah, good job camera. Giving you a good old pat on the lens. You're doing a good job. Oh wow, my shirt is quite glowy. <laughs> is that a word, glowy? If it's not a word, we'll make it a word. It's 2021, we can do that. Uh oh, it's unbalanced. I think Thanos might have to come in and fix that. Look at that. It's actually ferrofluid, for those who don't know. It's basically just a uh, magnetic fluid. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're gonna do this is by being matched to something called an avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. Like I said before, you're going to be matched to these things called avatars, which look a lot like the Na'vi. They're created by blending human DNA and Na'vi DNA. Over a generation ago, this enormous company called the RDA created a lot of damage to the area through their bad mining practices and conflicts with the Na'vi. Just like on Earth, it can take decades for ecosystems to recover. Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with 
the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. <laughs> You've all been matched with avatars. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, when the door opens, please go inside, all the way in, and stand over the same number that you're standing over now. And, uh, and I'll see you in there. Welcome, everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a Banshee. Once the link takes place, you will be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ikran. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sivak Ho, rise to the challenge. Good luck.
hours later. Oh wow. Oh wow, it is quiet in here. Oh, check out these new cupcakes. Oh shoot, I didn't film it. Oh yeah, look at them chicken tendies. Give me tendies! Alright, you know how this ritual goes. Ooh. Mm. This is some good barbecue sauce. It's quite sweet. No, let's do another for the camera. Oh yeah. That, oh. That is fantastic. I must say, these chicken tendies are fantastic. Albeit, a little small for Disney standards, but oh well. One hour later. Before we go on Dinosaur, I do want to mention those chicken tendies. Those are fantastic. I don't know if Disney uses like the same brand every single time, but I feel like they get better and better every single time. Oh, but yeah, here's Dinosaur, which is also a five minute wait. <laughs> Dimensional joyride, folks. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll. Okay. Now let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not on the ramus. That is called. Cannibalism, my dear children, and is in fact frowned upon in most societies. I'm tracking a big dino on the scope. Could be ours. Computer, full whoa, stop. Whoa. Identify. Carnotaurus. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Warning. Your strike. Evasive maneuver. Left, right. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! We made it! You made it! I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? I better find it before security does. Thanks for everything! Navi River Journey is five minutes. Tell me, when was the last time that happened? Seriously, somebody please tell me, when was the last time Navi River Journey was a five minute wait?
Okay, now I'm bored and hungry. So uh, we're gonna go resort hopping for a bit, maybe say hi to some friends, and then stuff my face. Well, uh, peace out, Animal Kingdom. It was fun being here. I practically went on everything. I think the only thing I didn't go on is, uh, yeah, Cali River Rapids. Pretty sure that was the only thing I didn't go on, and for good reason. All right, we're looking for Caribbean Beach, which is, oh good, number nine. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> right here. That's convenient. Four to six days later. Well, here we are. That was quite the voice crack, too. Now what's crazy is the fact that I used to work here, and I'm gonna try and put my mask on while I film. Like, I used to work here at both quick services. So it's such a weird feeling going in here, because it's like, this is my first workplace with Disney. It's just, I don't know, man, it's it's exciting. It's both, it's both exciting, but also kind of sad, because it's like, I loved working here. I loved who I worked with, you know? Alrighty, my order is ready. Let's go on in and eat. Oh, this looks so bussin' bussin', bro. All right, so we got the uh, Cuban sandwich. This thing is tiny. It really is. Like, I hope the camera's picking it up well enough for you to realize just how tiny it is. Like, compared to the background, this thing is puny. I will be honest, though, this Cuban sandwich definitely seems a lot lighter in terms of, like, calorie-wise than, like, the backlog one, which is a good thing because, truth be told, when I had that one last time, and I vlogged it too, my stomach was, oh my gosh, that did not go well following week. I should probably film myself taking a bite of this thing before I finish it off. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's really good. Uh, yeah, I'd say this stuff. <laughs> I am so disgusting. Oh my gosh, that took like 10 minutes. All right, the key lime tart. It smells fantastic. And if I can bring the screen out, uh, just try the uh, little marshmallow bit first. Tastes like marshmallow. Whatever this thing is. I think it's just chocolate. But let's get a decent bite of this thing, because oh my gosh. When I first tried this last year, oh my gosh, I was I was entranced. This gets a 10 out of 10 any day. Uh, I think I just set the key lime tart eating world record. Say that was maybe like less than a minute. Well, that was that was a lot of fun. I I enjoyed that. I enjoyed coming back to my old, to my first Disney location, if you will. But also being here as a true guest. I will I'll probably be using that term, true guest. Okay, you know what? Should probably go this way instead. See, it's like I'm so used to working here, so I'm so used to parking down there, you know what I mean? So, what I'm gonna have to do is take the bus to either a park or Disney Springs and then go back to Coronado Springs. All right, so because I'm kind of lazy to edit, let's just, uh... Oh shoot, I'm at Disney Springs. Hang on, just a second. Okay, that's much better. All right, we're back. Jeez. It's like from down, honestly, like, that's actually kind of scary. Like, I'm pretty sure this is taller than the contemporary. Is it? Maybe by a little bit. But I do want to go up to the front desk and see what's up with my magic band. They said it's linked to my room key, so I should be able to use it, but it's not working. So I'll go up there and just make sure everything's all right. Like, just look at how pretty it is. Like, oh my goodness. I love this resort. I haven't even been here for an actual night yet, but I already love it. All right, uh, front desk, front desk. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, Magic Band has been taken care of. Like, look at this. Honestly, I might come back down here in a little bit and start editing. Like, this just seems like it'd be such a, like a calm, peaceful place to do it with no distractions. All right, and now we walk, actually. No, we walk back here to see what's in here. Ice and vending. Oh, they got the gummy bag. They got the gummy bears. This, is this how I speak? Oh, geez, okay, that's very loud. Okay, let's, let's, okay let's, just, let's just back away very slowly. All right, we are 513. Hopefully it works. Nice. And nobody's home. Okay, just me. Well, at least we get a decent view. Make sure it's just the parking structure and the main area, but 
still pretty decent view yeah you can see summit plummet out in the distance see the lightning you see tower of terror over there it's a pretty good view i'm impressed oh and you can see what is that a model y off in the distance that right there looks pretty nice all right my beauties well i guess today was a pretty successful day uh, i guess to kind of close it out i'll give you guys a little bit of a room tour so let's get started so when you walk in first hit the master lighting button now, honestly, this room pretty much has the same layout as a contemporary. If you remember my stay there in September, it's quite similar. So we'll start with the bathroom. We got a nice big sliding door, quite light though, I will say that. So we walk in, we find the light switches. There they are. Oh, and there's a separate one for the shower too. Nice. Then you have this giganto, probably the biggest mirror I've seen at a Disney resort. And you got me. Howdy there. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is also a new shirt, by the way. Yes, I did get new clothes, so you won't see me in Man City shirts like you did last year. Uh, so yeah, we have two double sinks as per usual. Check the water pressure. Okay, it's good. I always like to compare the water pressure to the water pressure. Yeah, I like to compare the water pressure of my house to the water pressure everywhere else, because that's how I am. We walk in here, you have the toilet. Disney seems to be separating the toilets from the actual like bathroom area, if you will. That kind of makes sense because you know there's gonna be that one person who needs to use the toilet when someone else is in here. So they can do that and they have the privacy of the door. That makes sense. We also have a mirror. You guys have seen this mirror countless times on my channel. Needs to yourself extra close so if you shave like myself. I did shave this morning though, so I don't have to do that this time. But let's talk about this shower. I am, oh my gosh, I am beyond excited. Like, like look at this. The door actually opens. It's a solid glass door that just opens like a traditional door. We step in. Okay, so there's a little bit of a decline to it. Okay, that's interesting. But look at this. Look at that. That looks kind of scary from the camera. Like, it's just gonna start shooting water at you guys. But look at this. Like, I showed this earlier, but it literally towers over me. Like, that is fantastic. I'm, I'm excited to use this shower. So let's close the door. And shut those lights off. We'll go inside this little wardrobe, which it looks like my family has taken up a little bit of space with their sweatshirts. Not too worried about that. Um, we have some hangers, ironing board, iron in there, safe, suitcase rack thing, extra pillow and blankets. I don't think any of us will need those. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, and you also have another mirror in here in case you need to see yourself yet again. Shut this one. And then here's the main area. So we have two queen beds as per usual. We have this nifty looking thermostat, so we're set at 70. Uh, <laughs> nice. We also have yet another mirror. Hello, so you guys just can't get enough of me. We have a little bench here. Now, this is probably the coolest thing because this is technically a moderate resort. You have a Keurig. Most of the time, you're only gonna find a Keurig at, um, oh, okay, you press it open. Oh, wow, oh, okay. Okay, maybe I shouldn't touch that, um, but yeah. Most of the time, you're only gonna find a Keurig at the deluxe resorts. It's not the case here. Now, I don't drink coffee. They do have black tea. I might drink some of this in the morning just to have some kind of pick me up, but I don't know. Then we go over here, we have some drawers. We have a lamp, uh, let's see. Okay, that's a bright lamp. You also have your phone and whatnot. You have the big TV. See, these have to be at least like 65 inches. Um, personally, I think at this point they could go up to like, they could probably go up to like 75, 80 inches with their TVs, but who am I to judge? And then we also have some cabinets. So I assume there's a mini fridge in here slash cooler. See, it's, see these ones are more or less coolers because they're not really that cold and they're also extremely narrow. So if you're planning on getting like groceries and stuff, let's see, like the camera makes it look ginormous. I promise you it's not. So yeah, that's that. Then we have a sort of desk with a chair, nice heavy chair and whatnot. We have another lamp, okay. We have more drawers, more drawers, blah, blah, blah. There's all my junk, there's my MacBook, which I'll, honestly, I'll probably go downstairs and start editing in a little bit. We have a nice little seat, which, <laughs> I actually, sl I actually took a little cat nap here earlier today when we got back from Animal Kingdom. It was actually quite nice. I'll be honest, this isn't the comfiest, but I can find a way to sleep wherever, okay? And with that, that's pretty much the room tour. 
So I am going to call that a day. It has been quite the day. I am so excited that my family's here. They should be up shortly. So by the time they get up here, we're all going to go to bed. Well, they're probably going to go to bed. I'm probably going to go downstairs and edit. So with that all being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on my notifications down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Love you all so much. Take it easy and stay beautiful, my friends.